run that shit loop. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn on your post notifications. Today, we got a buzz cut. As you can see, we already debulked everything with the number four guard lever closed. We already created our bald line using the Troll Trimmer, the Gunmetal Gray Edition. Now we got the J Blends Influencer Edition Clipper in hand. We uh, created a panel of hair to fade out with, and now we're just detailing that and uh, just play, doing, playing with the lever, playing with that lever and uh, opening it up one notch fading up opening up one notch fading up until we have the area completely blended out now you can go cop these uh j blends influencer edition clippers on amazon.com uh, they are 95 95 on amazon less than 100 bucks you get guards you get the charging cord you get oil you get a cleaning brush you get the clipper and you know go support your boy one time you got your j blend signature on the blade so that's just a super dope opportunity that, that i got with the pissed off barber so he was shout out to t pop for that but right here we're just knocking this out making sure we uh, stay with the steps stay with what we're doing make sure we stick to the process so we can get a nice blurry blend once we do that, we got the one guard lever closed. I am using the single magnetic guards from T-Pop, and uh, we, those fit on any wall type system, you know, Babylon's Clippers, uh, uh, Stylecraft, Gamma, any of those Clippers, these um, guards can fit. So we did that one guard lever closed, created a panel of hair to fade into. Now we got the half guard on there, and we're just lever playing and to get this uh, area completely blended out. Now what we're gonna do is just stack guards until we get up to a portion where we will do some clipper over comb, just to detail a little bit. Uh, but overall, the blend is coming out nicely. My client does have a nice uh, head of hair that we can fade. He has a nice canvas. He just wanted to try something new, so he's like, let's do a buzz cut. So. He's been rocking like a low fade with the slick back or like a taper with the slick back. So those are the two haircuts that he's dabbled with the most. But right now we're just getting this area blended out with the half guard, like I said, and just stacking guards till we get this all taken care of. But uh, my client, he showed me a picture of what he wanted. So we had to make it happen one time for the one time. Huge shout out to him for wanting to try something different. It's always nice to have clients that want to try something different. A lot of times it gets very monotonous behind the chair. You have the same clients come and getting the same thing over and over again. So it's like, you know, you want some change in your life. So it's just a huge shout out to him for making that happen. But we had a one and a half uh, lever closed. We created another panel of hair to fade into. We got that one guard back on there. Now we're going to lever play and get it blended out. So uh, we did a four guard all the way around on this actual client's head uh, to debulk everything down where we needed it to be. So we are going to be fading up from no guard up to a number four guard essentially. So right now we just got that one guard on there lever playing with it until we get it completely blended out. Now, if you see the shape of my tapers, I do um, make like a sad face type a bald line at the bottom and the purpose of that is to make sure that we keep the sides of his edge up on the nape dark so we can have a nice crisp edge up without having to add any enhancements or anything like that now what we're doing now is we got the one and a half guard lever open and we're just creating another panel of hair to fade into we got that one and a half lever closed close it all the way up uh, start fading up open your lever slightly fade up open your lever and that having a click system like this uh, This clipper has it has a click lever system So having that will always make sure that you know where you're at with your fade You'll be able to navigate your fade easily because you you won't ever forget because you got that click lever system A lot of times if you don't have a click lever system you have a if you're a new or uh, beginner barber and you have a floating lever A lot of times it could be hard to really gauge where you're at you have to be really, really paying attention so for me i enjoy the click lever system because i record a lot of youtube videos i record a lot of stuff uh, for instagram reels and tiktok and all that stuff so having that click lever system just helps me to know where i'm at in my fade and that is something that this clipper does actually have now right here we have that two guard on there lever open creating a panel of hair to fade into then we close that lever up and begin to blend that area out underneath the lever open that we just did so as you can see here, very, very simple, uh, you know, way of going about your taper or fade, what have you. Uh, it's just a way to make sure that you don't get lost in the sauce. You stay with the process and you stay knowing where you're at in your haircut. So if you have a process, it's, it's very difficult for you to not, to, it's very difficult for you to get lost in what you're doing if you maintain a system. So a system will only help you in the shop as well as with time management. 
that'll help with that that'll help you get a, uh, a process down for every type of hair texture every client you'll be able to gauge how long different haircuts take because you're doing the same thing over and over again and it's just helping you to get faster at your haircuts by having a system in place now right here we got that number three guard on i believe and we're kind of just fading into that four guard on the top lever playing until we get it uh, all blended into the bulk and now i do see some areas that can be detailed and we're just going to do some clipper over comb i have no guard the lever is closed and we are doing little clip over comb work um i have my pinky finger as a um as a point of contact on the head so it helps me to know where i need to have how far i need to have my comb out from the head in order to um, cut that evenly it is a stabilization point for me it helps me to hold the comb easier and make sure that i'm not you know floating too far off the head or getting too close to the head with the comb when i do my clip over the comb work that point of contact it stabilizes my my movement so it helps me out to stay uh, symmetrical and stay you know making sure everything is even now the next thing we're going to do is we balled it out on the cheek area of my client and we created a bald line at the bottom of this taper and then we had the lever open we created the panel hair to fade into and then we faded that out with lever play now we did a one guard uh lever close created a panel of hair to fade into and now we have that half guard on their lever playing and this is a very tight area to blend into so a lot of times for myself um, I know for most people they say that it's easier to do a low taper because it's less area to fade But for me because of it being less area to fade I feel like it's more tedious to fade into that area I feel like for me with high tapers It's a lot easier because I could spread the blend and I'm able to uh, Blend a lot easier because you have more room to blend now when you have a tight area like this to fade into it creates uh, For me, it makes it more difficult but it uh, this is what he specifically wanted he wanted to make sure that he has more of that buzz cut look all over so he wanted a uh, a, a low taper to be able to see that c cup area the vertical bars and the front edge so that's what we did for my client so now we got that one guard on the lever playing and just trying to fade into the bulk of what he has on the side there now the same way i stack guards on the back taper is the same way we're going to stack guards on the side here we're not going to change it up at all it's going to do the same thing and just make sure we maintain that process now when you you are behind the chair um i suggest that you watch you know a lot of different people you know if you're in school watch your barber instructors well uh, you know watch barbers on youtube watch the barbers around you if you're working in a shop already or if you're at school and you have barbers around you by watching those around you you'll be able to see more different techniques a lot of versatility and from that you can kind of pick and choose what you want to adapt to your system you know not every barber is going to cut the same not every barber is going to you know have the same technique so the more you have to choose from you know the better you can build your you know your repertoire your your arsenal your technique system uh, in order to establish your own type of style now that's one thing that is unique to myself i feel like i've seen a lot of different people cut hair and majority of the people that i've ever watched they like to fade down and that's something i can never get down um so this is just the way that i've always learned doing things and and so that's the way that i adapted my system and i've just gotten to knock it out and get it down and, and i'm able to get haircuts out quick in a timely fashion you know and and, and it just helps me to know what i'm doing and know where i'm at in the fade you know because a lot of times you're you're convert you're, you're conversating with your clients and you're having these conversations that you know that take up some mental space so a lot of times you could get lost if you weren't paying attention or if you didn't have a process but when you do have that process it's easy to have those conversations with your clients you know and uh, be able to also do what you need to do behind the chair with the clippers so it, it creates a, an ability for you to multitask without actually getting lost in what you're doing so what we did on the left side is what we're doing on i'm sorry what we did on the right side is exactly what we're doing on the left side here we're just keeping it all uh, symmetrical keeping everything even what you do to one side you want to do to the other at all times when you're doing a haircut you know the last thing you want is a lopsided fade but now we're getting to the hairline prep so i'm doing a little bit of clipper over comb the lever is closed and i'm just kind of lightening up that front edge up area so we can get a nice edge up that way it's not you know overhanging or like super bulky or anything like that he wants to have a predominant edge up so that's what we're doing now we're doing the edge up portion on the nape i have the t-pop troll trimmer the gunmetal gray edition with the psycho blade psycho blade hands down best blade in the market right now you can find it at the pissedoffbarber.com 
and you can find it at Amazon.com. If you go to the pissedoffbarber.com for anything that you want to buy, use the promo code JBLENDS to save yourself 15% off your total purchase. And, uh, you know, that puts some money in my pocket, and it also saves you some money on the website as well. So, like I said, with the, sim the symmetry part, you know, what we did the other side, we do the same thing to this side here. But you can see that taper is coming out nicely. Um, I'll honestly say that it was very uh, different to see my, my client with this hairstyle because ever since I've known him, ever since he's been in my chair, he's always had the curls going for him. So once he wanted a buzz cut, I was like, you know, I I'm down to do it. It's going to be, you know, he's going to look a lot different. But we got it all knocked out. It looks good on him. You know, shout out to my client for uh, being down to be on the YouTube channel as well. But we're knocking out that front edge up here with the uh, T-Pop Troll with the Psycho Blade. And um, I gotta say, this trimmer is probably one of my favorite trimmers. Uh, I like how the the ergonomics of the trimmer is very compact. It's, it's a small trimmer, packs a punch, and it creates super sharp lines with the psycho. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, you could throw the psycho blade on any trimmer out there, and it's gonna hit because it's that blade is just on another level. But you can find that separately on Amazon and at thepistolbarber.com, or you can get it with an actual troll. There's multiple different styles of trolls, uh, different colorways that you could pick from. Uh, but right here, we're knocking out that C cup, scan everything nice and sharp for my client. And after we do that, we are going to do the edge of portion of this haircut uh, with the razor work. And that is uh, the raw and uncut razor holder that we have. We're also using the raw and uncut razor blades inside the razor holder here. You can go find them on Instagram as well. But look at that right there you see the symmetry uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the c cut portion with the blade but that'll pretty much do it for this you guys seen that before all the curls we knocked all those down knocked them out he's they're gone now but we got that buzz cut popping right there we got a low taper on the sides we got a you know a mid to high taper on the back but overall i like how this cut came out if you learned something from this video drop a comment down below if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button turn your post notifications turn on your post notifications if you go to the pissedoffbarber.com use code jblends to save yourself 15 percent off but that'll do it for this video until next time god bless